Good afternoon. I am Rajul Pandya Loj, Chief of Staff and Head of the 2020 Vision Initiative at IFPRI. On behalf of IFPRI, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you here in the room who have braved the polar vortex to walk over to us. And uh, also a warm welcome to those of you who are joining us online and virtually. Welcome to our policy seminar on the 21st century agricultural policies, the 2013 EU CAP and the 2014 US Farm Bill. For me personally, it is a great pleasure to be here. This seminar is one of the outcomes of a conversation David Orden and I had had two years ago that contributed to a chapter in the 2012 Global Food Policy Report of IFPRI that David and uh, JC Bureau had written together. And it's wonderful that we have this seminar here together now that we've actually made some progress uh, with the uh, EU CAP and the US Farm Bill. I have, uh, we have a super event lined up. And without further ado, I'd like to welcome our moderator who will conduct the event and introduce the panelists and so forth. Our moderator is Kim Elliott, Senior Fellow at the Center for Global Development. Kim, thank you so much for moderating this wonderful event. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, Rajul, and thank you all of you for coming. This is an amazing turnout in the middle of July in Washington. Uh, I suspect that's partly because of the complexity of the Farm Bill and of the European Common Agricultural Policy. Like me, you probably want to know what just happened. Um, secondly, I suspect it must be a tribute to this wonderful panel that uh, we have here today, and I'm really looking forward to the discussion, so I don't want to delay it. Let me do quick introductions, and then we'll turn right to the first speaker. Um, we're going to try and keep things brief so that we have plenty of time for discussion after um, the panel is, is finished. We will start with Jean-Christophe Bureau from the um, Agro Paris Tech, where he's a professor. He has a number of other affiliations, including the wonderful International Center for Trade and Sustainable Development in Geneva, and has done consulting on agricultural and trade work for the EU Parliament and the Commission, as well as the OECD and the FAO. Um, after him, we will have um, David Orden, who will be presenting what is, was supposed to be a joint presentation uh, by him and Carl Zuloff. Unfortunately, Carl's plane flight was canceled this morning, despite the beautiful weather. Um, he is, a, just so you know, is a, a professor at Ohio State University and also contributes regularly to uh, a resource that I would recommend to all of you if you're interested in the Farm Bill details and understanding what's going on. Farm.daily from the University of Illinois um, is a one, and, and they do it in short snippets, you know, so you can actually read it in a few minutes, but it's a great resource. And then uh, David Orden will be presenting uh, for him uh, and, and uh, their joint work. He is a senior fellow here at IFPRI, as well as a, a professor at Virginia Tech, and the co-author with uh, Terry Rowe and Rob Harlberg of what I think is the best political economy book on U.S. agricultural policy, um, written even though it is uh, a few years old. Um, then we'll go to discussants. We have Shahid Rashid, who is again a senior, fe um, senior research fellow here at R uh, IFPRI and working on uh, ag and food policy issues in Asia and Africa and spent several years um, in Africa um, for, for IFPRI. And then we'll conclude with Vince Smith, a professor at Montana State University and director of agricultural policy research at the American Enterprise Institute, which is, uh, has done some wonderful work on the Farm Bill and never uh, minces words, so I'm sure he will tell us what's really going on. I was looking at some of his recent uh, publications and noticed that I think, I think the most recent is on crop insurance and transparency, or the lack thereof, which I think is, is one of the issues we'll hopefully be talking about today. So let me turn immediately. Oh, and then I'm sorry, at the end, we're going to reserve five minutes. So I will be cutting off uh, the discussion promptly at 1.40 so that we can hear concluding remarks from Schengen Fun, who is the uh, Director General here at IFPRI, and we're looking forward to that. So thank you all very much for coming, and um, Christophe. 